Hi everybody, my name is Dave Danczak and I've been growing hydroponic stuff in my greenhouse here for four years now. And one of my favorite things to do is peppers. So I'll show you the three different methods I use. Uh, so here's some of them. Uh, well, not a method, but here's some peach ghosts I have. There's some sriracha here. More of the peach ghost. Uh, got some Scotch bonnet here, I believe. I might be wrong because this is a plant from last year. Uh, the pump is going. I'll go over that in a sec. And I also have some peppers here. So this method here uh, is called the Kratky bucket. Uh, K R A T K Y. Probably the easiest method. So this one's not on the pump, like the Dutch buckets here, and the NFT here, it's like a little guy here. Uh, so I use the General Hydroponics Flora Series nutrients. So I'm Canadian, so this is about 60 bucks for the three of them. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, uh, or I use the hi local hydroponics store. Uh, so the cracky method is just nutrients and water, and then the, the roots grow out. Try to balance this guy. So there is air roots, the the white guys at the top there, and then so they you don't want to drown them, so don't fill it all the way up. Uh, and then they go into a net cup, which you can also buy at your local hydroponic store or, or Amazon has these. And then these little guys here are called hydrogen, little clay balls. I have a big bag here I bought four years ago that I still reuse. I just wash them out with vinegar at the end of the season. So that's a great method to use and it's working good. These are uh, bell peppers. Uh, this is my 10th week in my greenhouse now. So like cucumbers love it in here look at these guys and this is that's like bigger than my hand oh, okay the pump just stopped okay so I do have a pump so for the Dutch buckets I have 14 of them in here and uh, I think four five five are in peppers there in them and I got tomatoes as well and beans okra and then four of the cucumbers, which are growing all the way up here now. It's crazy. So in Dutch buckets, it's kind of like the big net cup. Uh, here, I'll, I'll go to a pepper one to show you. Seems how like it's a pepper video. Okay, so these two uh, are on their second year. Little bug there. So the water line comes in from the pump and I put the pump on a, a two loops. So kind of a figure eight. So there's even water pressure, which was a great tip. Uh, then the roots, which just get crazy, go in and then back out just with a little grommet and back into a return line. Super easy. So you can buy the buckets pretty cheap or you can get the food grade safe ones from your local restaurants paint them black just because you want to grow a plant not algae and algae will love your nutrients so so this guy the little habanero hasn't really done much yet this year but it's starting see the good air roots there and I got another peach ghost here that's doing well by the spaghetti squash that's on a tirade here. It's going back home. Looped around. So Dutch buckets are my favorite, but that's for big plants. Uh, and you do need a, a motor, a pump for it. Uh, but once it's set up, that's 
pretty basic. Like this year, I just had to start some seeds inside from scratch, and a couple of them were were leftover plants from last year. Like I said, these two peppers, but these are just ten weeks old, and it grows like crazy. Uh, so many different types of peppers do well. I really like these peach ghost ones. Uh, so once you're set up though, super easy uh, to clean everything in the fall or when your growing season's done and then just start it up again. Uh, so really low cost, no, no need for dirt so there's less bugs and worms and, and stuff. I do get some ants on some of the plants, which is fine. I actually set up an ant trap here. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's working. Here's a little habanero. So this is the uh, NFT system. So it's just a rail system. So NFT stands for nutrient film technique. So it's just a, the water comes in through here and pumps down and just goes back down into the back down to the pump and this is good for starting these guys off when they're fairly small the roots are always cool so that's a little habanero and I probably this year he might stay in here and this might be a good one for next year to to put in the bigger Dutch buckets. Same with this guy. And so I have in here, I, this post I can raise or lower depending, but I've just kind of left it. And I just use tin foil to cover it again so that algae doesn't get into these guys. We even gr growing strawberries here. And all the, the leafy greens, the lettuces, the basil is crazy in in this great web method for that this purple basil uh and basil you can just take a cutting off off a plant and then put it in water for a couple days and it'll take off very good same with chives and green onions so this is a kind of our salad bar and the peppers just go like crazy dust buckets uh, there's some sriracha peppers here that I think two weeks ago I, I do a weekly uh, video vlog I guess of of progression of what's going on I don't think there was any peppers on these two weeks ago and now there's well, it's probably at least a dozen in good size uh, more back there And this guy's really taken off quite a few flowers. Uh, hey. It's always good to, to find the guys that you're hiding. There's a couple here. Uh, and making hot sauces is a blast. There's so many good YouTube videos on, on how to make it. Quite quick and simple. It's like making a salsa. You should all be making your, your own. Uh, tomatoes do go good on here. They're just starting to come up now after 10 weeks. So I got the, the little baby tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes. These are tiny Tim's. They work great in the Dutch buckets. Uh, this is a beefsteak tomato. Also work great, but the, it takes so much time for them to, to grow and harden. And I, I think the, the smaller ones are quicker and easier. I'm also actually doing uh, okra for the first time. Look at that guy. Pretty cool. Nice little flower. So you can grow all sorts of stuff. This is all in the same system. Uh, a lot of people go, oh, what the hell? It's You can't do that. And I said, yes, I can. And Because uh, the plants will get what they want. So some will do well, some don't do well. The only ones I really found that don't really like it is peas which sucks because I, I love peas like there is some good ones here but it's already starting to, to dry up 
So this bucket wasn't painted black, so I've just coated it in tin foil for now. Um, once again, just because you don't want algae to form. Nice little roots on it. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, so to look up stuff to see if you want to make your own, I would suggest trying Kratky for sure if you just have a small space and just get some nutrients. These ones are super easy. Everything tastes good with them. There are cheaper products. I think a lot of people have used a, a Master Blend. I like the General Hydroponics. Super easy. And actually for the Dutch buckets, all I do is one shooter glass a week of each of them for this, uh, I forget how many liters it is, but it's just a Home Depot tote. And I cut the lid in half, again tin foil so I don't get uh, algae, I filled it up too much. I made some little brackets just to hold it together. And those little clips. Hard to do it with one hand. So yeah, I definitely filled it up too much. But I've put a, I made a little plastic uh, kind of filter system, and this is just a, a paint strainer bag inside it, just because you don't want to get plugs in all your little feeder lines but yeah so that's it uh, if there's any questions let me know I'm happy to go over anything like I said I do a weekly video so I can answer your questions next week looks like I gotta make more pickles this week look at the size of this guy crazy all right, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks to Brett from BiggerGardens.com for uh, suggesting this, and hope to see some of you there, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.